Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Ziva Zero eVTOL completes first powered test. eVTOL UAS Taxi Outlook released. Census boasts 100% BV loss approval rate. Hi, I'm Holland Lee. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Ziva Zero eVTOL completes first powered test. Ziva has completed the first untethered flight test for its Zero Flying Wing airframe, where the aircraft took off and flew under its eight electric propellers. With the first flight completed, the Zero now boasts the bragging rights of being a functional, real aircraft with flight time in its logbook in an industry rife with ground demonstrators and digital renders. The flight is an important milestone in the airworthiness certification process, proving the unmanned demonstrator could take off and maintain position in a controlled hover, as well as taxi, climb, and maneuver at low altitude. The pancake-shaped single-pilot aircraft is an unusual addition to the eVTOL race, sporting a prone pilot position that takes off and lands on its tail. Ziva hopes that the sleek design opens doors for the Zero among high-flying corporate businesses looking for a single occupant runabout to fly right to the side of their skyscraper. Quote, this is a huge inflection point for Ziva as we join an exclusive set of proven flying eVTOL platforms and a testament to the relentless hard work and ingenuity of our entire team over the past two and a half years, end quote, says Stephen Tibbetts, CEO and chairman of Ziva. After these messages, Mastin expands operations, doubling pace. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Mastin expands operations, doubling pace. Mastin Mission 2 is now in the works as the company announces the start of an ambitious lunar program aimed at reaching the lunar south pole with their Zeline lander. The Hayworth crater is hoped to be the landing site for government and commercial payloads as it assesses surface composition, volatility, and radiation ahead of planned human missions expected to take place under the Artemis program. Mastin aims to offer lunar delivery missions to all near and far side of the moon locales, from craters to planes, poles to the equator. Sonex Aerospace sold. The assets of both Sonex Aircraft and Sonex Aerospace have been purchased by a company employee. The two have been joined to form Sonex LLC for the continued operation and support for kit aircraft and upcoming designs. The staff of Sonex have been retained, and the new ownership says that little change will be seen for current customers and outstanding orders. Sonix Aerospace will maintain its focus on developing unmanned aircraft systems and related equipment for the rapidly expanding UAV ecosystem. National Aeronautic Association opens Collier nominations. The NAA is now accepting nominations for their Robert J. Collier Trophy, an interesting award meant to bring attention to the real-world effective aeronautical advancements made over the preceding year, manned and unmanned. The trophy will be presented in June at a formal NAA dinner celebrating the event. Recent winners include the Boeing X-37B team, the inventors of the F-35's Auto GCS team, Blue Origin's New Shepard, and NASA's JPL. Super Bowl TFR released. 
UAV pilots hoping to fly into Los Angeles, California from February 6th to the 14th will be required to follow special air traffic procedures put into action with the Super Bowl occurring in the vicinity. Additional rules will be in effect February 13th for the game itself as a TFR will be in place with a 10-mile inner core and 30 nautical mile outer ring. Drone operations will be prohibited and ATC contact will be required for entry of non-commercial unscheduled flights. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. EVTOL UAS Taxi Outlook released. The industry for drone taxis is expected to hover over 60%, a lucrative prospect with an even better individual rate for the North American region. Smarter companies designing their aircraft have been designing their aircraft with an eye toward eventual unmanned flight, even with the flight controls and cockpit in place for a pilot. Transitioning as simply and painlessly as possible would be good for the companies looking to pull double duty with their aircraft now in development. Removing the pilot in command and replacing them with a paying passenger brings 25% more revenue in the average four-person aircraft, a deal handily worth the developmental trouble over the length of the program's life. Interesting bits from their report include the concept that the coming years will see widespread rollout of unmanned taxi service. The companies to be, according to markets, are US-based Boeing and Joby Aviation, German companies Lilium and Volocopter, Airbus in the Netherlands, and China's Ehang. After the break, Census boasts 100% BV loss approval rate. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Census boasts 100% BV loss approval rate. Census Technologies obtained beyond visual line of sight approval for architecture, engineering, constructions, operations, and management, maintaining the company's 100% BV loss waiver approval rate. The infrastructure consulting firm aids designers, engineers, environmentalists, and construction specialists in their efforts to map and survey projects in the making. Their record of approval is vital to keeping timelines and schedules as planned, important considerations in construction when projects involved a litany of moving parts to maintain an efficient building pace. The Census AECOM team plans to use their newest waiver for a wide area mapping project for a Department of Defense project for a nearly 20 square mile plot of terrain. The waiver's approval allows the remote pilot in command to fly within a 3.3 mile radius during the job, which the company says will enhance the per-flight ROI by 700%. Without BV loss permission, the pilot would be required to stay within 1.25 miles of the drone at all times, requiring a greater frequency of repositioning, travel, and unneeded stops. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll see you next time.